15th miner arriving. Victor Segovia has now reached the surface. And the rescue workers gather around. Same procedure as before. The medic in the, uh, the white coat goes in and asks, how are you feeling? Are you OK? So far, they've all been in the affirmative, nodding their heads. Watching these pictures with me is uh, President Pinera's priest, Alfredo Cooper. And uh, as you saw the, uh, the phoenix emerge, I noticed that you said incredible. <laughs> Yes, I'm actually one of the two chaplains in the presidential palace. I say incredible, although I'm a man of faith. And why is this? The president, the day that he uh, heard, or we all heard of this disaster, and began to imagine these 33 miners shut away, not knowing whether they'd be rescued, not knowing whether they were actually alive or dead, he called for a prayer meeting. I'm not sure how many presidents around the world do this kind of thing nowadays, but this was a good idea. So we all got together and had an emergency prayer meeting in the presidential palace. All the ministers down to God, Lord, do something. And 17 terrible days went by when we didn't know what was going on. And then, of course, on that Sunday, which was actually a funereal day for the president, his, um, his father-in-law died, Eduardo Morel. Uh, it was the same day they found them. Again, a miracle. The boar hit the rock and glanced off and went in to the chamber where the men were. And so, again, the whole of Chile rejoiced. And he was rejoicing and grieving at the same time at that funeral. I said to him, President, you know, we've had a miracle. He said, yes, I know. And I said, you asked that we pray for a miracle. So why don't we do now on Tuesday a Thanksgiving service? He said, that's a great idea. So he called the whole government to come again. We had a wonderful Thanksgiving service there in the presidential palace. We laid out the names and faces of the 33. And when I came earlier to the mine uh, a month ago, I said to them that the president has invited them to come to the palace and officially put an end to the prayer chain that's still going on until they actually get there. So that's why when I say incredible, in fact, what is happening is I'm seeing the answers to so many prayers, not only ours, but of course of the whole world. If ever prayer is beamed on a place, it's, it's here at La Mina San Jose. And on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, how has the president been involved in this? I mean, obviously working and talking to the rescue managers all the time. Has this been his number one priority in office? As you know, the president... Pineda uh, is one of those whose light burns early in the morning and late into the night. He's a, he's a, a very, very uh, hard, some would say workaholic. However, he uh, has been personally informed uh, increase, uh, all the time. And uh, as we've got near the uh, rescue, uh, of course, he's been particularly keen to be personally involved. Now, the questions relating to the security of mining in Chile, uh, the security of these second-grade mines, uh, the future of miners in general, I think, will be affected forever in Chile. Already laws have been passed, um, all sorts of investigative teams have been formed to make sure that mining in Chile never again uh, is victim to negligence as this was. And what about